Hey guys, I'm so excited to be coming to you from my dream house. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't want to get you too dizzy, but I have to say, yes, there's lots of boxes behind me and there's more boxes over there, but that's okay. If you're new to this channel, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for being here. If you have been referred by someone, please go thank them too. It is our mission to eradicate financial anxiety and overwhelm, but it's so much more than that. This is profit for joy. What that means is you actually can live a life where you have money for the things you care about most. And when you have a business that is driven by your dreams, you always have enough money for the things that matter. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about what that actually means. Like what is profit for joy? What does that mean to you? Is it really a money thing? Money is simply a resource. It's allowing us to actually pay for experiences or put things in place that make our life easier and bring us into a higher vibration. But it's simply a resource. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And there is a beautiful, delicate balance between being a responsible financial steward and allowing yourself to sit in expansion, to be able to recognize that it is possible for you to have wealth accumulation, to have generational wealth, to be able to charge in alignment and be a conduit of investment for, for your clients. So what am I talking about here? It's about removing a lot of the shame. It's about removing the story that money sucks, <laughs> that we never have enough. And it's actually becoming much more aware of what our relationship is with money. So let's just look a little bit deeper into that relationship. It always stems from childhood. When we have our first experiences with money, it starts to develop subconscious patterns and subconscious behaviors around that particular subject. And because money is 99% behavioral and emotional, it can be really, really freaking complicated. So for example, when I was younger, my parents made good money, but it was like we didn't. They, they were really, really careful with what they spent their money on, almost to a point of deprivation. And it worked for my parents, and that's fine. It's not what, want, what is going to work for me. Instead, I'm looking at money from a different perspective. I'm looking at money as a tool, as the ability for us to experience things that really bring us joy. And we can do that and still prepare for the future, still accumulate wealth. It's all about a revenue goal. So if you have not signed up, for our Age Money Challenge. We have another one coming up very soon. I highly recommend you join it. If you have friends, please let them know about this. When you have a revenue goal that matters, that makes sense, that actually gives you confidence, it gives you this empowered, expansive feel, it's amazing what can happen in your business. It's just all about being honest with yourself with what you really want, what you really need, for money and for resources and for the things that you that matter to you in life okay so I would love for you to join the link is below please share this with others if you are new here you don't want to miss out on this I'm telling you that it's divine timing if you're watching this right now all right everyone much love to you talk to you soon Mwah.